Howdy, and welcome to the second place awards of Anne's County Country Fair series. We are glad to have you today. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's see what items got a second place award this year. My first experience with full face masks was not fantastic. However, over time, I am beginning to like these guys. So they've gotten themselves bumped up from honorable mention to second place. Ren Effercom Day Cream. This was an item that was my usual go-to, tried and true, use it all the time, get it in samples if I could. And then I started getting subscription boxes. And Ren got bumped down from first place to second place. The power of the subscription box. This next one is a definite surprise. If you recall from the honorable mention video, all of the first aid beauty products wound up getting an honorable mention. So what is the body scrub doing in second place? That is a good question. How'd that happen? Well, let me tell you. Okay. I have found that although the body scrub was a little too much for my skin, it makes a great foot scrub. So this item is now in second place. Again, we have another product that was my tried and true use it all the time. Vitamin E overnight serum oil. And then I started getting subscription boxes. And vitamin E has been bumped from first place down to second place. Wow, you use that all the time. Yes, I did. It does make a good cuticle oil though. The Illuminati lip gloss has a stinking adorable packaging. And it is a nice looking product. The only reason it's in second place is because I have found that when I use it, it overpowers whatever lipstick I have on. So this might be a better product for using on its own rather than over a lipstick. So that's why it's in second place. I always pronounce this name wrong. I'm not sure if it's Rodalie or Rodile. So my apologies to them. This was one of the first products I got in a subscription box. I really don't need a primer. However, I did like this because it was something I could use to give a glowy appearance on a non-makeup or a minimal makeup day. And that worked out great. The only reason this is in second place is that it has a bit of a perfumey scent that over the course of a day would start to give me a headache. But I still like it. This was a full coverage foundation sample that I got to try. It was from, I think, Birchbox, but don't quote me on that one. I like the fact that it has an SPF in it. What I really don't need, though, is a full coverage foundation. 
This was a great little moisturizing sample. I just found that it took a little while for it to absorb into my skin, even if I used a very small amount. So that's why it's in second place. This daily cleanser left Anne feeling just a little bit on the dry side. So it's in second place. I'm still planning on finishing the sample. I don't think it's something for my skin type that is a daily cleanser, probably more of a weekly cleanser. From the body shop's vitamin E eye cream. And I've been using this since forever. I'm finding it harder to find, and I fear that the body shop may have discontinued it. And again, as I'm getting more subscription boxes and getting different products to try, then this product's not getting used as much. I did enjoy the sample of Sand and Sky mask. My only reason that it's in second place is it makes you feel like you just did a good old fashioned face plant right on the beach. I liked that one because I am Princess Fatima of the Sandy Dunes and I like sand. Well, we'll see if we can get you some. Oh, goody. That would be nice to get me some. We'll see what we can do. Oh, goody. You got your hat? You got your hat. From Bite, this was a sugar lip scrub, and I definitely enjoyed it for the most part. The thing I really didn't like about it was I had to stick my fingers in it to get the product out of the container. Sometimes I would use my handy little trick of using a sponge eyeshadow applicator. So then I don't have to stick my fingers in the pot, but I am finding other products that work a little bit better and aren't as messy. So that's why Bite got moved down from first place to second place. I definitely enjoyed this sample from Dermalogica. It comes as a powder. You make it into a paste. It's a nice face cleanser. The main reason that it's in second place is that it cost a blessed fortune. Granted, many makeup products do, but for me, I have other items that provide the same results without the expense. This was a scalp scrub from Drunk Elephant. And as a scalp scrub, it would have wound up in the honorable mentions category, except that it could also be used as a body scrub. And that's what's, should we say, saving its hide. And that is the reason that it is in second place rather than honorable mention, is I could use the scalp scrub from Drunk Elephant as a body scrub. And Anne loves a good Drunk Elephant. Yes, I do love me some good drunk elephant. Another drunk elephant product that is in the second place category is their shampoo. I enjoy the scent. I enjoy how it makes my hair feel. Great product. It's just when it comes down to the price point, I can buy other products that maybe even do a little bit better for a better price point. From David's Tea, the Strawberry Lemonade gets second place because it was hard to get to taste the strawberry and instead it was just lemonade. Not that there's anything wrong with lemonade, but there was no strawberry taste. 
the Avant makeup remover, which you need to shake up before you use it because it separates. That looks much better. The only reason that this product is in second place is due to the fact that the scent, which is a flowery, perfumey scent, I don't care for that, but I gotta say, this product takes makeup off like nobody's business. It's definitely a good makeup remover. I will work my way through the end of this bottle but I am finding other products for makeup removal that are more to my liking when it comes to their scent. In second place from Vosha, the Pomegranate and Fafaya Body Cleanser. This was a little bit on the misleading side because with the words Pomegranate and Papaya in their title, I was expecting something with a fruity scent. Unfortunately, it also contains willow bark, which for me was more of a woodsy and overpowering scent. The only reason this thing got bumped up to second place is that my spouse enjoys it. So he finished it off, so it did not go to waste. I had seen some place, I think it was on Instagram, but it might be on the Bosha website where you can email them to request a free shipping label so that you can send in your empty product and they will recycle it. So I thought that was kind of neat. Also in second place from Bosha, was their deodorant. And I enjoyed the scent. I enjoyed how it worked. But what it came down to the price point, I can get two of my regular deodorant for the price of one of these. So it was strictly a price point decision on this one. And then there were the eyeshadow palettes. And no camel, I'm sorry, we are not doing swatches today. No swatches? No, they've already seen the swatches of these items. Oh, okay. At some stage of the game, I could probably do an entire eye palette collection. Not that mine is that big, but it is growing. But for second place eyeshadow palettes, the ones that I reach for fairly often are the following. So that concludes the second place awards. Please comment, like, and subscribe. There's more videos to come in this series. And we hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. Lose your hat. I lost my hat! Yikes! Hold everything. How am I gonna pick this up? Oh my goodness gracious, Kevin. 
Okay.